Dear Vimal, can you build a budget PC? Affordable, super budget. Woo! So yeah, I've actually been seeing a lot of these comments lately on my channel. So hey guys, this is Sheetal. And Vimal here. And guess what? We both are back on the channel after quite some time. So it's summer vacation and you guys are gonna see me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video is going to be like super exciting and fun because as I've told you, video's idea is we will be building the most affordable, basically the cheapest PC you can build so in 2020. Be useful for so many of you guys. Exactly, because we've been getting yeah. so many comments in yeah. my videos, right? So that is why we are doing it. <laughs> so guys, let me tell you, building a PC can be actually very fun and interesting. Yeah. In fact, there are so many ideas you can go around, right? Uh, I actually was confused, like, what should I do? Because see, if you're building a PC, there are a couple of ways. You can build like a brand new PC with brand new components, or you can go for like a refurbished PC with second hand components, especially if you're looking for like a cheapest yeah. or affordable category build. And third is, you can either go for AMD platform, Intel platform, as I've told you, so many wide variety of options and uh, choices to choose from. So what are we doing today? <laughs> now, obviously, you know, we're not going out for some refurbished market, you know, to buy some components. Okay. So today's video, we will be building like a brand new PC using new parts itself. But if you people are actually interested, there is a second hand refurbished market area in Hyderabad. Yeah. And you know, me and my sister, we both can actually go there, maybe shoot Do like a, a vlog. vlog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can actually, you know, <laughs> Be visit a lot of different stores, talk Summer to the dealers. Creativity. Yeah, it will be super fun, right? We can actually show you how to buy second hand components, bargaining and all that stuff. Let me know if you people are interested and we can definitely do that in the coming days. Yeah. Anyways, today's idea though, as I've told you, we're building like a PC with brand new parts only. Okay. And if you talk about Intel and AMD, so I'll be doing both the editions guys because okay. you know, I'll leave this choice up to you. But today's video will be going for like AMD edition PC. So this is like episode one of Ep budget PC. Yes, episode one of <laughs> budget PC series. That is what we can actually name this. Okay. Now, before we actually dive into the components, now let me tell you, today's components are also like very exciting. And in fact, we're using a CPU that I've never used on my channel. The CPU today we have is from their Athlon series. Now, you know wow. what? I've never made a PC with Athlon series. So I'm quite excited to see what this CPU has to offer. It's a very affordable category CPU, has like two cores, four threads, dual core CPU guys, and it's like very budget friendly, costs only around like five or six thousand rupees, brand new unit. So this is what we'll be using. The model is Athlon 3000G, here you go, this is what this is our CPU for today's build. Then what about the motherboard? Now as I've told you, motherboard you have wide variety of choices. Now especially if you're looking for a budget range motherboard, right, I would suggest you to go for something like a B450 series guys that is like the most affordable and it'll get all your necessary needs covered it costs somewhere around like 5,000 or maybe like 6,000 rupees and within this budget you'll get that AM4 B450 motherboard that is like good to go. Now yeah. since I don't have a B450 motherboard I'll be using this B550 motherboard from Asus ROG guys this is the only Let model I have them. right now. But I'll leave you all the links and you know component choices in the description box below. You can check it out there. Yeah. Now then for the, the RAM, RAM yes RAM. So for the RAM budget PCR, you can obviously go for only one RAM stick, which is eight GB RAM stick. This one is from HyperX. This is what we'll be using. Fury DDR4 clocked at 2,666 megahertz, I believe. Very affordable. Costs only around like 2,100 rupees, guys. And what about the cooler? Now, come on, this is a budget PC. You obviously can't waste money I'll on a cooler, it. right? So <laughs> yeah. Athlon CPU actually comes with like a built-in included heatsink and fan. Oh. That is what we'll be using. And funny part is it comes with such a puny, tiny little cooler. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like fun, you know, checking out what it can actually do in real world. Now, biggest question you might ask is, Vimal Bhai, is there a GPU graphic card in this build? That now, was my question also. <laughs> now, come on guys, it's an affordable category PC and it'll cost you around like 15, yeah. 18,000 rupees is max so there is no way you can actually include a gpu in this sort of build you'll have to rely on the built-in radeon graphics in that athlon cpu only but again that is for now as of now huh in future you can actually add like a decent budget range gpu maybe we like, can upgrade it yes it is future proof upgradable you can buy something like a 10 or 15 thousand rupees gpu add that to this build i can and you can do some decent level gaming on this wow. pc as well that
that is what you can actually do case now see i don't have any particular recommendation go with any of your choice budget sort of case here spend max 2000 1500 2000 and that's it it will get your job done and coming to the power supply see as of now if you are not planning on including any gpu in future you are building this pc for simple home and office purpose then you can simply go for like a 450 watt power supply more than enough for this sort of configuration now if you are actually planning for like a gpu build in the future then i'd advise you to go for minimum like a 550 watt power supply 80 plus bronze rated that would be like enough for this sort of configuration so that is it this is a whole yeah, configuration right now <laughs> and let me tell you this pc is like very good for like basic home purpose office needs it's like it will run very smooth and muska guys not an issue at all you can even handle apps like ms office you can do web browsing casual you know learning purpose at home this sort of pc is like more than enough for this sort of applications and requirements and that is pretty much it now without wasting any more time why don't we get started with the build Oh, look at that baby. Nobody would actually believe this PC costed less than 20,000 rupees. And not to miss out that clean look all thanks to this case from Deepcool. Matrix 55 has a nice PSU cover to hide all your cable management and give you a neat and clean look. All right, let's just quickly power it on and check it out in action. Nice all black look with silver elements on the inside. Now I've already told you right it's a very affordable range build and to keep the prices down I went with a no flashy no RGB just pure performance parts. So what do you people think about the looks? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anyways just sit back relax and enjoy these beautiful shots of the PC. And guys here's the setup for the day Sheesh that looks pretty nice right I leave all the links for the peripherals components everything in the description box below definitely a good looking PC I would say anyways jumping into the performance part this PC was mainly designed for home purpose and basic office needs for example browsing the web or maybe like streaming youtube videos replying your office mails and you know simple stuff like that yes it's also good for running ms office apps like word powerpoint presentations and all that stuff and you can even do a bit of photo editing as well Video editing might be a bit tough because Athlon 3000G is a dual core 4 thread CPU so it might take a lot of time for rendering keep that in mind anyways talking about the gaming part see first of all it's not a gaming pc we didn't make it for that purpose so as of now you cannot play games on this system but in future if you can add maybe something like a 1050 ti or 1060 also to this existing system then you can definitely play games over here But apart from that if you talk about the overall day to day PC performance that is pretty nice as you can see in the video smooth performance and is like enough for your home sort of needs have a look at these benchmarks as well i've run geekbench cinebench all of these on geekbench 6 we got a single core score of 752 and a multi core score of 1966 not that impressive but again hey it's a 5000 rupees cpu this is what you'll get for that price but to be honest if you actually have a little bit more budget if you can spend maybe like to or 3000 rupees extra i would suggest you to go for the ryzen series apus from amd maybe something like a ryzen 33200g or maybe like ryzen 53400g since those cpus have like four cores compared to the dual cores on the athlon you'll definitely see like double the performance improvement now some people might say vimal bhai why didn't you go for like intel's 10th gen i3 you know that 10100f or maybe like 10105f cpu they are also on budget and cost only around like 7000 rupees right now that 
that is definitely a good question. Intel's 10th Gen i3 is a value for money CPU and surely offers better overall performance, but do not forget that it's an F series CPU. That means that CPU doesn't have any built in graphics. Now, if you build a PC using that CPU and you do not have a graphics card in hand, your PC will not boot at all, guys. So, that is one major point you'll need to remember. So, buy an F series CPU only if you're planning to build a PC or system using a graphics card. Do not forget this point. Alright then, let's talk about the price details of this PC, starting off with the CPU. As I've told you, Athlon 3000G is a very affordable CPU and it's available somewhere around like 5000 rupees in India. Just check out these multiple stores or online websites and go for the cheapest place wherever available. Now coming to the motherboard, you have a couple of options over here. You can go for something like maybe ASRock B450M or Gigabytes B450M, whichever is available at an affordable price and fits in your budget. These are also costing somewhere around like 5800, 6000 rupees and in fact if you actually go to your local market you might find these products for like 500 600 lower price than the online rates as well coming to the ram i'm told you now we've used like hyperx 8 gb ddr4 ram 3200 megahertz this one costs only around 2100 rupees on amazon and coming to power supply a 450 or power supply from cooler master or maybe like deep cool this will cost you around like 2000 rupees and lastly if you take into consideration the case and storage well a 240 gb ssd is what I would suggest that will cost you around like hardly 1200 rupees guys and a case spend max around like 1500 rupees now add up the whole sum over here and the total budget for this affordable category PC is going to come down around like 18,000 18,300 rupees guys so that is pretty much it that is the complete pricing details for this PC Time to wrap it up, right? We are yeah. done with the build, show the performance as well, benchmarks included. So that is basically it, guys. This is what you can expect from this PC. It's more than enough for your home or office needs at a very affordable price tag. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And in fact, if you actually want me to upgrade this PC into a gaming sort of PC by adding a GPU, let me know what sort of GPU I should add. And I'll definitely do that and show you how much sort of performance improvements you can actually see. In fact, we can actually upgrade the RAM also from 8 gigs oh, to 16 yeah. GB that will also definitely improve the overall gaming performance that will be like a part two in this series yeah. right very interesting and also this was like the amd build yeah. we'll again come back with the intel build ah, for the next episode very interesting actually amd budget pc versus intel budget pc which one is the best you yeah. know for your money so we and can guys, actually do that if you have any more pc build requests you can do let us know in the comment section sure <laughs> man we have all the summer holidays we need to do this stuff so that is pretty much it time to yeah. wrap it up if you all enjoyed watching this video make sure to smash that like button and, and subscribe, subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and we'll see you all in our next one bye